everybody, it's Jean, and I'm going to show you what I've been working on. I just uh, was away for the weekend, and I had to grab a book to work on, and I thought, why not? I had stashed some items in it, and um, I thought, it's September. It's time to start thinking about all my fall projects and um, I picked up this book at a library sale last year and I cut out some pages and cut out some pictures but um, anyway I took it with me and I'm going to show you what I've been doing in it but first I want to remind everybody about my giveaway because I have 500 subscribers, I do appreciate all of you, and I want to have a little giveaway. And I did a video on it, so you need to take a look at that. I will see if I can get that on the screen, but at least give you a link at the bottom if, um, if not. But um, what you need to do is just send an ATC card to me for your entry and put your name on the back and your screen name because if you don't enter, you can't win. And I always tell myself that and I have won a few contests. So that's that, it's open until October 1st. Okay, and you know October is the big month for Halloween. So anyway, I do have some fall items in my giveaway, but Back to my Halloween journal. Now that the, should I say, advertisement over? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but I just want to make sure all of my subscribers um, get a chance uh, at the prize. So, this is, I want to do something with the cover of this book. I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not keeping that. But right now, the... This was the opening page, and um, this nice little pocket uh, I put in last year, but it was all white, it was all blank, and my discard notice of it being in from the library is underneath my little ghosty there. So there's more that can be done with this page, but that's kind of what I started with. I had a very adorable card for my daughter, and so I used part of the card on this. Um, this page in here, I think, has, well, no it doesn't, uh, the rest of the card with the greeting and everything. This is a napkin, and I just threw that in there. I, um, I didn't have a whole lot of time. I was doing so many other little projects, but I, I just really kind of enjoyed using what I had already stashed away to do a, a fall book with. Uh, this background was a was a treat bag and so I decorated this page I put the treat bag and this is part of the card still and some stickers and this cute jack-o-lantern which I thought paired well with this picture uh, and leaving the page in here and painting around it instead of cutting the page out and putting it on a painted page or a decorated page so that's kind of an interesting one, Stonehenge, because my granddaughter visited Stonehenge this summer. And so I kind of I kind of like that, having that in there. But of course the picture is pretty creepy. <laughs> Again, there's some more pick more pages to work with. Uh, this one I did do the uh, the reverse decoupage. And um uh, it is still to be decorated, but these were part of the book, and now they're part of the journal. So, you know, I need to get a white pen that will write. I bought these, and these were terrible. They won't write. It all stiffened up. Um, doesn't want to write. I just, I need um, maybe a recommendation from somebody what to do, how to write with white. I bought this, and this is great. It's a peel-off china marker, and I thought that was fun, and it definitely writes. 
but it's not um, it's it's not easy to write with it it drags and it's thick let me see if I can finish that But it, it's not easy. It's not a good writing instrument, I don't think. So, so I'm just looking for something to write with. This, supposedly it does that and then, see, I just get a big glob. But it doesn't write. Um, so I don't know. I bought two of them, of course, because somebody else was using it. And I was kind of unhappy with that. So anyway, so I say, don't buy these. They, they dry up. Now, of course, I used it and then I didn't use it for six months. So that could be the problem. And if that's the issue, let me know. Yeah, I'm going to say that. I'm sure that's still wet. I'll stick something over that, but I didn't want to turn the page until that was gone. And another uh, reverse decoupage page. So I just, just, put, just threw some color down on that, and we'll see what, what happens. Not much color, orange and black. <clears throat> But um, anyway, it looks like it's going to be fun to play with. This page, um, this page I, I did, I kept this, this uh, silhouette of some trick-or-treaters. And this is the other side of the bag. And so there's lots to play with here. And it looks as though, yep, here they are. These are not sticking. But I used these for the mouth which I thought turned out kind of cute but they're not sticking so they'll probably have to be glued down and then I made black blush <laughs> just for fun but anyway um, and this is a little piece of foam very that very thin foam I, I kind of like that and you can color on it really pretty easily So uh, this page um, I did last year. This is part of the book itself, and then this was a this was a page. It says "Enter if you dare." So I'm kind of combining both pages, but those will be fun to work on. Backgrounds are just done here. Uh, a Scooby page, and of course the um, if you saw my if you saw my um, page in my Instagram that's it and that was really fun but this is a napkin so I have more of these to uh, to put place somewhere but I really love how that turned out and I liked covering up that spider with glitter because it made it pop and it made it look really real that was a lot of fun to make uh, I used that as a nature, as a part of the nature prompt in um, journal prompts on Facebook. And uh, it, it, of course, looks Halloweenish here, but maybe not too Halloweenish there. Not sure what I'm going to do. I'm, I kind of uh, stuck that here and then, uh, then decided to make this into two different pages. So this is just... A placeholder right now and something to do here this is another napkin that I had last year so I glued that in I'm basically all I have is background stuff right now but that's how books start they start with the background and then you add to them when I peeled off the back of this it left 
images on the peeled off page. So I like that. I thought that was neat. And then uh, this I put in here last year. This is just some stuff I may want to include. Some stickers. Um, a little trick-or-treat candy stick. Just some fun things just for extra on pages. But not sure exactly what I'm going to do with that yet. So... That's my Halloween book, and I am, I am not sure how I'm going to, how I'm going to do the cover of this. I've been thinking about it, thinking about it, and I don't know if I even want this picture or not. It's, they're great jack-o'-lanterns, but... And I was thinking, well, maybe I could do something with it today, but I just really don't have, well, I do have some black, black and brown. Do I have any water? Yep, I have a little bit of water in there and a brush. Let's just take some of that. Do I really want a painted page? I think I want... I think I might want, instead of a painted page, I might want to just glue a, um, something really neat that I like. But let's see, we can play with this and see how we like it. Uh, get this brush wet. Yeah, I know it says Halloween, and I know this is my Halloween book, but let's just make it mine. Okay. A little bit of brown. A little bit of green. Who says everything has to be black and orange? Ooh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Let's. Interesting. There. That kind of makes it more mine. So, anyway, so that's, um, I like that. I like that better. And um, that's what I need. I need some stuff. I'm going to be picking up stuff to fill this book with fun, 
fun Halloween themed pages and uh, and we'll, we'll just see we'll just see what comes of this but I'm gonna put that away for today I'm gonna put that away for a while until I pick up some more fun I used up pretty much everything I had for Halloween um, I do have this card it's Halloween time but um, I'm not feeling that card too too much uh, as far as the book I do know that I want to cut out this candy apple part of the problem with this particular uh, book is it's small is it small and it's small and all of the things that I have are so big it takes up the whole page so it covers up too much but I've got all these some interesting things here and I like this So is it Halloween time? I don't know. But see, I wouldn't put that over the top. I would put that, it almost would look better on a candy page. But it would look good like that too. I like that. But I was thinking it would look good on a candy page and with children and all that but if we've got that but oh well who cares i like that i'm going to i'm going to make a snap decision and put that in right there covers up most of the candy but you know what i have a whole page of candy on another page so let's just do that Kind of down here on this part and some more glue lots of glue lots and lots of glue and put that right there don't forget to um, enter the giveaway don't forget to um, like this video share this video oh it'd be nice if you guys would share um and um send me a comment send me a comment and just let me know um let me know what you're thinking oh and by the way you um if you make anything that has been inspired by anything that you see on my videos and you post it on Instagram let me know so I can go and look I would love to see what you guys are making and what you guys are doing and um, friend me on Instagram and let me know that you're a subscriber to my um, to my YouTube channel because um, I'd love to get to know all of you a little bit better so anyway that's that's all I have for today. This is just a little short, um, just a little short check checking in with you guys, and uh, I will see you. Um, I will see you later. Bye.